feed. Mm. It's like, huh? you never know what's coming with hot feed. If it's too complex, hot feed. Yeah, if it's if it's too much, forget about it. Take the music down just a hair, bro. Take the music down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> All right. What number is this? Can you see from there? What number is this? One. One. All right. Cool. I can hear myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I do. I do. I do. Mm-hmm. All right. Are we Ladies and gentlemen, on? we are running. Okay. Running. We are running. We are running. Running and the world. We are humanity. Mark. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you, Hafid? I am going <laughs> good. Dude, something crazy. sounds funny again. That's I'm funny. hearing weirdness. Weirdness always follows us in this episode. Can you guys hear weirdness? Sounds clean to me. All right. So what are we doing today? No, no. My something's off with me. Ah. Uh, uh, bah, bah, bah. Really? I think so. Just like Don't worry about it. Just go. Reverb Just go. on your mic. Nope, let's just do it. One, two, three, and... And you pretend you're... (laughs) I'm really chasing the bugs away. Right. (laughs) How we doing, man, Fred? Everything's good. We're good. Shall we go? One, two, three. Go, go, go. We're ready. Okay. Here we are again. Mark, how you doing, buddy? Season two, Two. episode two. two. And we have two lovely guests with us tonight. Hey, I like that. Yay. Like two on two on two. It's awesome. I know. It's so. great when we get people. And you guys came all the way from El Paso, right? Yes, Caduce. Hey. Rosalba did. I did. Rosalba. I'm here in Las Cruces. Oh, you're local. Right. Well, okay. before we do that, I need you to introduce our lovely guests. Why don't you introduce yourself and what you do, basically? My name is Rosalba Ruiz, Hi. and yes, I live in El Paso, okay. but right now, currently, I'm working in Las, well, the office is in Las Cruces, but we work in the colonias. Okay. okay. Uh, and um, the area that, that I work is mainly in health, and um, so so that's why I'm here, because nice. we want to talk about health. Health and humanity and oh, goodness right. and kindness All the and good helping stuff. other people. Good. I love it. And who is next to Hafid? Yeah. My name is Daisy Maldonado, and I'm the director of the Empowerment Congress of Doniana County. Nice. All right. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Empowerment Congress. That's correct. Uh-huh. Wow. What is that? That sounds very important. What is it? It sounds basically? scary. Yeah. It scared me. I don't it even know why, powerful. but it sounded scary. <laughs> like, what is it? <laughs> I wish. Um, I so, wish. this is a program of, that Rosalba is talking about. We are a nonprofit here in town. And our service area is the Colonias of Doniana County. Okay. And our intention is to transform Colonias into livable, healthy resource communities. Okay. It, move them out of the situations that they're in right now, where um, they don't go ahead. have like paved roads okay. and sidewalks and streetlights. Um, very limited economic activity happens there. Hmm. Um, so just little, basically, they're living on dirt. Yeah. <laughs> now, of, are are these, these are these built fixture homes? Or are they trailers or a mix or what? A mix. Yeah, yeah, there's a mix. There's definitely a mix. I mean, there's some gentrification that's happening okay. where um, a lot of farmland is being turned into um, mansions uh, right next to oh, wow. like trailer park. Oh home. wow! Yeah, mobile sounds home like parks. India. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> well, and then we, so people here in Las Cruces don't see that because they don't visit into the colonia. There's sure. again, there's really not a lot of economic activity. There's not a reason to go and to, to visit these communities. Um, so what we're doing is we're going into those communities and um, really trying to provide them tools where they can advocate for themselves, and then they could use those tools also then to transform their communities. Mm-hmm. And we added an element recently, and that's where Rosalva comes in, around health, uh, because again, the, the disparities we see between urban versus rural, which, you know, in New Mexico and Las Vegas, really isn't that much of a difference. However, there is, again, in these communities, it could be like, and out, mm, like a 45 minute drive, like to La Union, mm-hmm. that people think about, oh, these beautiful wineries, they have a, mm-hmm. um, what's that? 
The nut. The, the nut. <laughs> nut. <laughs> <laughs> like, the what? The, no, like the actual walnuts and stuff yeah. like that. Oh, okay. Right. No, the, but I was thinking of the, the corn maze. Like, there's some iconic things, but those are the actually chili. not inside of mm. the colonia. Mm. They're outside of the colonia. Mm. So if you go into that community, you'll see a lot of the farmland being transformed. And then the historical pieces where lots of, there's mobile home parks, you know, they mm. have the one church, they have the one um, corner store, they have a post office. And how long have you been doing this? So I've been with Empowerment Congress about four years now. Okay, and how long has the program been going for? It's it's had a few iterations off and on since 2011. All right, okay. Yeah, and it's, the mission has been generally the same, but it's really been, like, when I came on, it really focused in on, um, on those communities themselves. Okay. Because before, the focus was, let's get all of the colonias together sure. and the populations together so they could advocate for one thing or t- you know different policies mm-hmm. but there's lots of rift mm-hmm. there's mm-hmm. lots of competition mm-hmm. and you know somebody in la union does not want to advocate for someone in chambarino sure. right. or Salem park for something that they need okay um, and so instead we want to go into each community and focus our energy with those residents so that we can create a plan to to actually transform those communities have you guys seen any results any good results well Yes and no. Yeah. <laughs> Again, the communities and actually also community members are very skeptical okay. when outside agencies come in and say we're going to do these things because they said, well, this has been going on for years and years. Right. Why should we trust you right. to and, get stuff done? And nothing changes exactly. So our biggest success so far, I would say, <laughs> under my leadership, has been working in the community in Sunland Park. Okay. So even though it's a city, it is still considered a, a federally designated colonia. And we work with a community um, named Anapra, and what they really needed was a stormwater pump. Mm-hmm. And the city basically said it would be too expensive to repair the stormwater pump that existed there before, and instead it would make more sense or more would be more cost effective to move everybody out of that community. What? So <laughs> it's about a hundred. Really? And it's yeah, always exactly. about cost effective. Really? <laughs> Okay, so who's in charge or what governments are in charge of these colonias, as you speak of? Right, so the city of Las Cruces, or I'm sorry, the city of Sunland Park would be the city specifically, but most of the colonias within the county would, is Doniana County. Okay. Yeah, and so when we go, when we've gone to the county and said, hey, these are the things that people need also, um, the county government will say, well, it's again, it's too expensive, we don't mm-hmm. have the money for that. It's um, always about the money. Yeah. Or they also <laughs> <laughs> utilize this thing called the anti-donation clause because, um, and say that they can't take public money and send it for the use of, of private good. Um, and so the colonias, the way they were formed, they were formed on private property. Hmm. So private property owner owned, owned a big lot of land and kind of chopped it up into different lots and then hmm. sold it off hmm. and then created this makeshift road that they could use that was out of dirt sure right sure and so then um when the residents are you know they've been there for years they're ready for the county to take it over and pave it the county will say no that's still technically on private property Mm. so we can't so it's their what is that what is private property well it means like if you own a piece of land you're responsible for the roadways and how do you own a property of land well you know you buy it it's where do you buy it from (laughs) Whoever's selling it. And who sold it to that first person. (laughs) There you go. And who sold it to the other person. Yeah, I don't know. There's deeds. There's. I thought Earth is free, man. (laughs) Yeah, right. I mean, what the hell? No way. Real estate. (laughs) Like, seriously. Land and real estate. Who was the first person to buy land? The conquistadors actually just took it (laughs) over and then they say, We own this. You want some of it? We're going to divvy it up. You've got to give me. 300 million pesos yeah, for you two know hectares. what I mean? Like the first you know? person who ever bought land. Oh, the king of Spain. Who did he pay? <laughs> who did he pay? Well, he, he they gave really bad presents to the indigenous people. Right. So well, the I mean, indigenous e- people got even, screwed. Even the indigenous <laughs> people, like the first, I'm talking with the first person in history, human history, oh my God, who bought land. Who did he pay? No one. People you just, see the irony in this, like yeah, the absurdity of it no, all? I, Who did he pay? I, I think they fought for it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I, they fought for it, and whoever won yeah. kept the land. And, and then as, as uh, they started growing, and they would fight people or uh, groups of nomads that had settled, 
and then they fought for it. So right. it just fight it. So it's so maybe we should just divide fight and that. conquer. You know, Turn your program stuff. into a fighting program. <laughs> No, Sometimes we you, promote yeah. peace and humanity. Yeah. Hey, I'm, whatever works. You're just being you know me. I'm the devil's advocate. The devil's I'm always advocate. the bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> so. I mean, some people have said that, that we need to just go fight hey, for it. Let's yeah. go. Let's just do but it the nice like, way, like you know. Okay, old so these school. colonias and the anti donation donation clause, clause mm -hmm. means they can't accept tax dollars. No, that so they actually do pay. They the. Um, if they own property, they're right. They're paying tax right. taxes to the state, which comes back to the county. Right. Um, but the county won't allocate money for why? Exactly, because they're saying, well, once we have this money, it belongs to the the people of New Mexico. It belongs to the people of the county. Yeah, but they're people of the county. They're people exactly. of New Mexico. They're entitled. Exactly. Right. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, isn't it up to like the senators and the and the reps to divide it? properly so everybody mm -hmm. gets some share to help their cause yes absolutely so why isn't that happening so the bottleneck here and um i don't know who's listening to this but the bottleneck here is actually at the county level wow it's at the county level with the commissioners and the the county manager and how they're interpreting the law in terms of the anti-donation mm, right. which is it's a piece of actually the new mexico constitution so it's a very old law that um, was supposed to prevent public money going toward um, railroad uh, companies. Wow. But it's been liberally used to to keep money in certain pockets and, you mm -hmm. know, in certain hands and <laughs> certain Story coffers and not, yeah, and not Crazy. share it and, and not actually serve the people that it's intended to serve. Right. Yeah. So in other words, the... Mm. Poor and weak get ripped off again and again and again. No. no. Wow. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> right. They get taken advantage no, of. Oh, yes. Come it's on. the rich. Who you're going you're the gonna, money, you're gonna stay in no. a subservient yeah. situation, yeah, and which won't allow you to grow and prosper. Why, but if why they do were you allowed to grow? to grow and prosper, then they could buy more things and fuel the economy. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, that's the then, same thing. Then you're going to compete with some people. That's should, a, no, but no. that competition is you good You stay on where you're at. Shut up. <laughs> I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. King Midas over here. That's the whole problem with our system right now is I that know. you have the elitist upper class squashing the middle and the lower class down. And guess what happens when the middle and the lower class can't spend properly? Mm -hmm. The economy goes to crap. Yeah. Excuse my French. Merde. You know, um, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> a bad version of French. Okay. But it's kind of the same thing. It's just you're keeping good people down when mm -hmm. you, they shouldn't be. And, and can I uh, just mention one of the things that I started when I started working? We started with a pro. I started with a program that was the broadband. So you you would say, uh, well, with COVID, you know, with the kids mm -hmm. needing to have classes and stuff like that, they found out that people don't have access. Wow. Uh, but the thing is, uh, we f f first issue, we went and we said, okay, well, the com the phone companies, they know where they are. So then we go to the phone companies, you know, well, we want to uh, see where we can help. And, mm -hmm. and oh, that's uh, private uh, intellectual property. Mm -hmm. So then we had to go and survey um, where, and, and actually you would think that uh, everybody has internet, you know, and it, so we had to find a thousand houses that did not have internet that was in like a six week period yeah. oh and we were able to do it you know wow. but the thing is that it, it was a, it was a survey by the, by the state it was by the county by the county okay. I'm sorry and then um, you, um, you the first step that you do you would uh, press a button and it would tell you your broadband mm -hmm. so in the colonias they pay for it uh, some people you know the people that can and their their broadband was 40 that was the, the the speed the mb megabit mm -hmm. okay so that's it. that's it that was the people the <laughs> highest that's and what we were able to capture was 20 to 40 wow. and then and that's then nothing. that's yeah i know and then kids so, can't even game on that <laughs> they don't need but, to but game. the thing is the school <laughs> and then everything is on the internet or if you want to have like a sure a, 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 a a, 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 with your or your doctor because right. you you can't see the uh-huh so so um so that that's it and across the board and whatever you want to see that's that's a situation and then but the thing is like the the telephone companies that would make money if they would give a good for services what do they say oh no if th these people are too poor to pay it 
we won't put a uh, we won't put a tower there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, so it's like yeah, you have everything in against you. You mm -hmm. know. So this is really the underdog. This is a really. Capitalism literally, at its worst. the literally yeah. the underserved, the abandoned people, the um, nobody, they have no voice. Wow. So, uh, so that's why I think that mm. that um, Parliament Congress has been very successful because they're the ones that are willing to to work yeah. with them. And mm. there's and the other thing that is the most important thing is that there is such a need mm. that we were able to do the work that we do. Mm. That's good. Wow. That's it's amazing. Good. It's mind blowing. Yeah, and uh, I mean, uh, th this far, do you think it's working? It's slow. It's yeah. slow. <laughs> How slow? Yeah, very like slow. a ten mile per hour slow, <laughs> slow <laughs> like a forty, <laughs> like a wow. turtle or like a like a snail type of slow. Which one? <laughs> I would say it's a turtle. It's a turtle. It's a turtle. But we're growing in momentum, mm -hmm. and um, just just from the program, and you know, we've been trying to like raise the profile and, mm -hmm. and have conversations with folks, and sure. you know, even at the the federal level. Um, and the more, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get my, my voice and my seat at the table just to, to talk about some of the things that are issues and that we're seeing in the community. Um, so where, where do you guys get your funding from? So mostly it's from private funders. Mm. Um, so we get a big chunk of our funding from the W. Kel Kellogg Foundation mm -hmm. and then smaller other New Mexico funders. So you guys are writing grants too? Oh, that's yes. Wow, yeah. that's a lot of work too. <laughs> it mm. is. Oh my well, God. But also though, we got some small contracts um, from the county to do right. some of the surveying. Mm -hmm. um, but then we recently also got a contract with the New Mexico Department of Health to mm. do lots of COVID outreach. Um, and that's, again, the stuff that uh, okay, Rosalba so, leads. So like this stuff with the communication towers and stuff like that by the telephone companies or the television mm -hmm. companies, why can't, why can't they essentially donate a tower to this area? And Cost then use, money. Yeah, but you can use Cost it as a tax write-off. It's Cost a donation, money. right? Yeah. They won't do that? Money. No, like, well, 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 that's why I'm here. That's right. why we came because okay. when you said that you had a a, a, a show that people need to know this, mm -hmm. you know that right. there's a lot of uh, people that are in need. Mm -hmm. That this, yes, this is the United States, but still, there's a lot of people that are living in third, uh, in sub, uh, still living in human, poverty. Uh, yes, it, yeah. there's places in there's places in southern New Mexico mm -hmm. that they're probably the power. Uh, the indice de pobreza in the uh, poverty index mm. is f uh, uh, higher than 40%. Mm. This is the United States, yeah. you know? Yeah. So number one p uh, k power and all these things. And then um, it's, it's we, need, we need to, we really need to do something about it, yeah. you know? Um, and if you don't, it's going to bite you and it's going to go back have and you, bite you. Have you guys utilized any other sources to get the word out? Well, we try, you guys <laughs> but do. we you guys have no have money a, for that. So right. whatever we, but, but that's when you said, I'm like, yes, of course, okay. you know, so, so, and there's other people that we, in, in other projects that we worked before and stuff like that, that, and I think I have a good relationship. Well, we have a good mm -hmm. relationship with the media mm -hmm. and, and they, if we ask if we need something, they'll, they'll help, you know, mm -hmm. but it, if we don't, it, it would be nicer if we would have like a budget that would help us, you know, to, you know, like on ABC seven when on Sunday nights, when they do that extra thing, yeah. mm -hmm. you guys should be on that. Yeah. <laughs> we should yeah. get a lot of things. Hopefully, I mean, yeah. 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 Can, yeah. Can, can we hook you guys up? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Yeah, yes. no, the, I mean, cause this is important stuff and mm -hmm. it's, it's not going to be like a huge 45 minute show or something, but even if it's 15 minutes with you guys talking and letting the, you know, our local people know what's going on and how they need help and more donations, you know, yeah, you guys definitely got to get on television. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just talking about little public access stuff, but see, that's another, you can go to PBS too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and also, um, and, and I had met, um, Daisy in the past mm -hmm. uh, because she she was working and and well you know me and um, and uh, I wanted to work in in New Mexico because I always like the border and I'm in El Paso mm -hmm. and we work with Juarez and I wanted to work with New Mexico and and we met and I really liked what she was doing uh, but she's from another discipline she's she's in economics and um, and she has a different view from me that I'm old school 
uh, health. Mm-hmm. So I think that that's been able. That's one of the things that that is um, very interesting. And mm-hmm. we are also, as, as uh, Daisy mentioned, we're working in COVID, and we've been working. And that's a huge issue, I mean, yeah. and breastfeeding and diabetes. Sure. And uh, so, uh, so, so, any. Where we can get the message that, um, and and it goes to pre- in, in in my pe- in the part of health, it goes into uh, prevention. Right. Yeah, yeah, I remember. That's how you and I met. Mm. Yes, we yeah. did. A, we did a, a, a video. We made a really cool video. Mm. To really cool magazines. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And On they were diabetes. like comic books about mm. diabetes nice. and nice. how to help and prevent and mm. like you say prevention. You know, it's like it's all about education. What could be done, like in ideal world hypothetically like the magic wand yeah like what w- what needs to be done so i would you know i've had these conversations and what i say is just and it not not for the organization mm. but for the communities is a huge influx of funding right so it, money it Always. really really comes down to money come on mark but so not just that <laughs> i know you got like half a million or something <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so the money piece, but then also the the, the community development and community planning piece. Mm. Right. So because these colonias, so they're unincorporated residential areas, and like I said, they all have to go back to the county government sure. for their services. And the way the county government sees their role, right, is a little problematic. Like, well, we don't have to take care of this or we can't take care of that. Um, but then they have really overarching, like, big you know, big goals and, mm. and big projects as mm. opposed to like, well, what does this little community need? Sure. Right. Um, and so that's, and so that's the piece where we're really trying to work and where I do think will be an impact. So, so it's, what does this little community meet, need? So one of our uh, community organizers, he works in the Vado del Cero area. Mm. And so part of the reason, like part of this is complicated because <laughs> that community actually is divided between Vado and Mesquite. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they don't have their own zip code. <laughs> they don't have their own <laughs> wow. post office. They don't exist. They, they literally do not exist except in the community, wow. right? Wow. Um, but they don't, they also, they have the one corner store, you know, they have one vendor like mm. that sells food. They have a community center and then that's it. Well, and then they actually have a playground, which is good for them. There's lots right. of communities that don't have that. So a community development piece, what do they, what actually do they need there? They do need a clinic. They mm. need more stores, mm. right? They, they, and there needs to be a hospital actually. Mm. And I, I want to tell this story um, now that I have the, the mic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> She's got to go for it. I know, it's, it. it's actually go really not, it. it's not a good story. But um, there's a hospital, there is no hospital between El, um, El Paso and Las Cruces. Okay? No, there is. No, there is not. The province, the new one. Yeah, there's a big new one right off the 10 and the 357, the loop that goes up. Right, and but that's still in El Paso, is it not? It's part yeah, of, it's is, it, is it, it Paso? Okay. Yeah. Is yeah, it so. Paso? So it's on the Texas side. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so there isn't a hospital that's between... Not even a clinic? Not, well, there's some but other there's, But it's limited on the services that they provide. Right. Exactly. And they can so, only help so many people at a time. Right, exactly. Right. So, um, and we work a lot in Sunland Park. Um, and the reason for Sunland Park is like, it's like the tip, uh, you know, of the state as well as the, the county. And a lot of agencies will receive money for Southern New Mexico. It's concentrated here in Las Cruces. And almost nobody goes down to Southern, goes down to Sunland Park. Um, and so when the community members first reached out to us, I said, yeah, we have to, right? We have to do this. Um, and then we're now hearing stories about um, if you, if somebody living in Southern Park or Santa Teresa calls emergency services because they need to go to the hospital, mm-hmm. they get taken to an El Paso hospital, mm. right? So mm, good, sure. yes, they get the services. Right, right. Except if they're on <clears throat> New Mexico Medicaid, they can only stay in a Texas hospital for about a week. And if mm. they still they need to remain in the hospital, they have to be transported to a New Mexico hospital. Oh, God. So. Yeah, that's another. Our system. medical system is so great. Uh, yeah, it confused. Yeah, well, no, no. Then yeah. this is the worst part of the story is that there's been people who are so critical that and they get transported by ambulance from El Paso to Las Cruces mm-hmm. that they're dying in transit. That's oh, crazy. I mean, really. And and you, you and did that it. must have exploded during COVID. Right. Oh my God! Yeah, what no. a mess. 
Yep. Money, 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 money. And and right. would you ask <laughs> what would you change? Mm. I would change the health system. Oh yeah, I'm with yeah, you on that one. Yeah, because we have to have universal coverage for everybody. Mm -hmm. It scares me still, though. It what? really does. What? The universal. It does scare me. Why? What? Canada has it. England has it. Cuba yeah. has it. I Mexico had people. I had it. friends. Friends. A friend of mine lived in England. Okay. All right, and um, I I had this conversation with him. He goes, Javi, you don't want that system. This mm -hmm. is what he told me. I don't know. I never lived there. Mm -hmm. But he had a, a problem that he needed to go to uh, do surgery on something. And it was not emergency type of deal. But it was emergency. He needs, he needs a surgery. Mm -hmm. It's a waiting list. Mm -hmm. And he said, it's a waiting list. And then when you go, they don't care. That he goes, uh, Hafid, for me, I'd rather pay and go over here than do it over there. He goes, yes, it's free, but everything is like pulling teeth. Everything is like, wait, come back next few weeks, come back next three months uh, if you want to go. So it's not as, honestly, I think the way to solve the, the healthcare system, and again, I don't know, that's just my opinion. I have no idea. Just lower the freaking premiums for the insurances. <laughs> yeah, well, that's yeah. it. And that's that it. Is that, that solves the problem. I mean, if I tell you how much I pay on insurance, it's it's ridiculous. That uh, and they're only a middleman. That you, that's that's the thing that has to go first is the, the the insurance company because really, how do they work? Right. They don't care. They they the you get it and and you and they you pay so much. Sure. And then when you actually need them, they really want to get out of it yeah. and don't pay it. Exactly. So why it's, do you want them? You know. You, so I think that what happened with Obamacare. Right. Is Obama told the people, if you have insurance, you're going to get to keep it. Right. That's what the insurance company told him. Right. So then when he changed it, the, the first thing that the, com the, the um, insurance, insurance companies, companies did is that their chronic patients, they threw them off. Of course. And then to me, I would have said like, yeah. you, you know, and, and we're going to, re and I'm going to take over. That's what I would have done if yeah. I was Obama. Because um, really, what service do they provide? Mm -hmm. And it by limited, that would fee a lot mon of money mm. that you'll be able to um, th that you would able to 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 th the cost of money like a person with that has diabetes in Mexico mm. a person with medication and all that stuff one patient is like an average uh, one thousand mm. dollars the same patient if he's in the United States is ten thousand yeah, no, dollars so 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 the, the, so the system is wrong you would have to do more prevention that the people don't get that sick mm. okay so mm. that uh, so that th that's the first the first thing and then the people when they got need surgery and stuff like that that frees the space right. that you'll be able to attend anybody that has needs surgery or they need uh, a special, uh, they need the specialist because their did their diabetes got mm -hmm. really complicated or whatever. But it, it is those steps that really having a culture mm. of health. That's it's tough. Th th <laughs> that, that, that's what needs country, to be. Man, that that really mm. needs to change. Yeah, it's tough because you're trying to change 300 million um, mind. It's uh, it's tough. It's really, yeah, really but tough. The big companies won't let it change. That's no, no, they won't. Pharma. Yeah, like it's, 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 pharma it's the food same companies thing. want you to eat garbage, you know, in this country. The formula companies. Not only that, even if you don't want to eat garbage, the system, man, the system, the way everything works, it's so complex. It's so connected. Um, yeah, it's ridiculous. You want to eat healthy? It's going to cost you money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't. It, yeah, it should be the opposite, right? Yeah, should be. <laughs> but it's not. If right. you want to eat healthy, you go it's going to cost salad, you money. It's like ten bucks. You go get a hamburger. It's two. Exactly. Two fifty. Uh, you add the stress and, and and the way people work. It's just the whole thing leads to that. It's it's hard. Like. <laughs> you okay? You okay? She's just so passionate. I know. <laughs> <Sorry>. All right. <laughs> but um. But yeah, prevention it takes. Mm. I don't know. It it takes generations, man. It's, I honestly think it takes generations mm. before. Yeah. And plus, it's you know we. I think we talked about this before. The fact that everything needs a car. Mm. All right, but it has nothing to do with it. it has with planning, zoning, and mm -hmm. all that stuff. So it's all part of the build building up. that shit. Sorry for the excuse for the language, but that's how they built it. So how are you going to avoid that? There's no freaking way. Or you're going to have to go live like New York, whatever, where everything is connected. But then again, exactly like you said, boom. 
So the infrastructure, everything that together, it's it has it's it's part of it. And if you try to get out of that system, you're gonna be an outcast. You're gonna be the crazy one. Mm -hmm. uh, health, honestly, we have 300 million people in the U.S. All right, if everybody <laughs> pays what a dollar, man, a month. Yeah, do the math. No, that's like a lot I of mean, how much money do like a lot of countries need. in Europe are like that. You know, you pay four hundred bucks a year. A friend, everybody pays that amount, mm -hmm. and then you're taken care of. A friend of mine yeah. been working with me for the last what twenty years. He's been paying into the insurance for twenty years. Yeah. All right. And then something happens. Not even the guy's trying to like make a change with his life. He's he's heavy. Mm -hmm. And he's got heart problems, this and that. And he went to go and get the uh, surgery. What do you call it the bariatric the bypass. 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 The, the bari bariatric surgery mm -hmm. for him. the for the stomach to yeah. make it. Did I kill you? You're good. You're good now. Yeah. So what happened? So he's just there's a little static. I can hear it. You're okay. There <laughs> we go again. There we go. That's good. No, yeah, he's been paying for that for so long, and he's like, I just want to get that. And he went to the doctor and told him, Hey. It's gonna cost the, you ten. No, no, the doctor write a recommendation for him to go and get the, right. the surgery. Insurance said, "No, mm. cosmetic." No, it is not cosmetic. <laughs> it's health. <laughs> it's health. Yeah. And and he was upset. He's like, "Huffy, I've been paying this for years, man." Right. I can hear that status now. They have too much power. I'm clean. Why? Why do they? Why should they have it's that? Yeah, it's your it's money. It's how do you guys keep a good attitude about all this? I stuff? wouldn't tell. And you just want to go, well, well, go, okay. go in and rip Could people's heads we off. get one person <laughs> that we make an impact on their life? Mm. I mean, and and in public health, supposedly when sure. I went into public health, they said that we had the potential to save millions of people at a time. Sure. Like mm. vaccines and stuff sure. like that, you know. Uh, but in the reality, and what keeps us going is that when we change when they put the pump in Sunland mm. Park mm. when 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 get people actually do get vaccinated mm. when um, people start uh, and uh, that's another topic so too. so, so so that's just the reaction in in the people when, when you it's mind when you help them. yeah no it, it is tough and I give you guys credit for that it yeah. is like dealing with those kind of things I would I would lose. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's kind I, of, I, I have to say, sometimes it's it is frustrating, um, but for me in particular, like I I do live within the city of Las Cruces, right? And it's mm. considered an, it's an urban center, and there's so many things that um, I'm afforded, and what keeps me going is knowing that the individuals mm. that are living in these situations, like mm. they're continuing to work right mm. they get up every day they mm -hmm. take care of their kids they go to work sure. and they have to to suffer these situations and that must be a lot harder than what i have to right. to endure on a daily basis yeah. right and so from it, at least from my perspective sure, so sure. that's i'm like okay i can i can bear it you a little endure. longer yeah. right i can endure um wow but it's it's still very frustrating you know it is tough very frustrating. it, it is it, I'm having issues with this headset. Now is my turn. I will. Mark, don't space <laughs> out. You got sad. It's okay. But um, so, how do you go about getting a clinic? Well, so th that's what I'm. I've been saying this story everywhere I go because I'm really trying to um, to leverage that and get the county actually. So it's really, really. It's going to come down to both the county as well as the city of Sunland Park and the city of Anthony. And I, the way I see it is, those three governmental entities have to come together to bring in either a private company to mm. build something here or they're going to fund it with the funding that we, you know, the ARPA funding sure. that was awarded to our county. Um, the county manager, he's, I don't remember how much he's holding on to for future projects. Uh, <laughs> future projects? Yeah, we future need projects <laughs> now. See, this is the kind of stuff that would drive me nuts. That, that and I would like go ballistic yeah, on people. Yeah, that definitely drives me nuts. Well, we have until 2024 to spend it. I'm like, okay. Let's spend it now. Let's spend it now. We need a hospital. At a minimum, we can put a hospital in Anthony, right? right. Which is in between Sunland Park and Las Cruces. Right. And that could serve, you know. A lot order, of people. Yeah, a lot of people. Hmm. Um, so that's, that's the wow. thing is is it, ha it has to be the will of the people but then also you know the the county has to has to step up yeah um, that's where and that's really where the bottleneck is in general unfortunately Man. it sounds like oof. yeah i don't know so when you want to 
put a, a clinic there. Okay. Um, well, that's just and one it can, thing. And it can't be done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because, uh, like, a um, long time ago, in El Paso, there was this uh, visionary and uh, the director of Project Vida. Mm. And he went into the community and he said, what do you need? Mm. And and they said that they needed, the first thing that they said was that they needed a clinic. Mm. And, uh, and then... Um, I forget a dentist, I think, and, sure. and, and I forgot what the, the third one it was. And go see Project Vida right now. It's humongous. Mm. And he's been, and he's, uh, he, how did has he do it? Grants. He's very good at grant writing mm. and, um, and all the stuff that they've done. And, um, and so, so, so you, you can do it. Mm. It's, it's really hard. But I think that now that, um, people like Daisy are here and stuff like that, that it can be done. And, and they, they, you think the funding that you guys have now is enough to open a clinic? No, no. Not even no, close. Not yeah, even, not even no. close. No. Yeah, that would definitely have to come from federal funding. Yeah. And so that, that's the big piece where I'm talking about the, the agency, the, either the county or a city has to be the, the driving force. Right, exactly. Yeah. Because I couldn't, as a nonprofit organization, we couldn't apply for something that big. You know, for exactly right. for that big and right. and it's not even get, doesn't even get awarded to organizations, smaller organizations. Mm -hmm. And that's actually something that um, when I've looked to other um, agencies within other states and like, well, how did they do it? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how did mm -hmm. other rural sure. <laughs> organizations do it? Or how did other rural communities do it? And by and large, again, it's it's large funding, mm -hmm. federal funding. Um, and it's connected to uh, some sort of governmental entity. Wow. So that's the big piece that's missing here. Um, the city of Las Cruces actually is being is getting a lot better in terms of looking for, you know, federal funds and mm. utilizing them to really, you know, improve the infrastructure around here. Mm. Um, but the county is just is really late to the game. Mm. And, and from what I understand, also they have very limited capacity. Hmm. So they need to hire more folks to do it. That's the same thing too with the city of, of Sunland Park. It's very small. Hmm. Um, they're suffering uh, from a very old uh, corruption and fraud sure. uh, situation that sure. happened back in the '90s. So people don't trust them. So no one wants to work for them. <laughs> so then they don't. They have they're really short staffed as well, hmm. unfortunately. So you know we need some also outside energy to right. to come in and, um, and, and create some like changes in texas there's a clint there's a hospital mm -hmm. in van horn mm -hmm. how did that get started you know it's mm -hmm. the same thing mm -hmm. so um and that's like i want to say like an hour 10 minutes from el paso sure mm -hmm. sure yeah hmm. so so it can be done we still i mean and the other thing i guess we have hope mm -hmm. and, yeah i um, know well, you have yeah. to you have yeah. to because how, how many people work with you guys, I mean, do you have a basic crew of 10, 12 people that you work yeah, we, with? Yeah, we have a, a staff of about 12 right okay. now. Okay, and then do you have volunteers as well? Sort of. Or can you do that kind of thing or no? <laughs> no, yeah, we can. The Again, the the model that we are attempting to use is that the volunteers would come from the communities right. that we're Itself. working in. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So somebody from Los Cruces, I mean, even though, right, like I'm the director and we're going into these communities, but having outside volunteers isn't the model that we want to use because, you know, we want right. people to take ownership sure, sure. of their communities. And when we when they've done that, that's actually when we've seen real change, mm -hmm. right? And they say, oh, yeah, this is my backyard. This so is my it's street. That, it's, it's always here. It's, it's that mental, yeah. which is tough. Yeah. Because everybody wants money for something. <laughs> They do. I'll do this for you. What are you going to give me? Yeah. Right. And it's it's not right. If you do it, you're not doing it for me. You're doing it for yourself. You're doing it for your kids. You're doing it for your neighbors. Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough because really like, you know, just w what you guys said and I'm thinking about it and I'm like, okay, well, I mean, if any hospital wants to go ahead and put a clinic in between, you know, I'm sure probably thinking like, well, how much money are we going to make out of this? Blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> it's always that. And then when you're trying to reach out to people with this, uh, you know, let's help, whatever they take it, like... Hell no, why would I help you? Taking money away from their pockets. That's how they always look at it. So maybe we should like re-strategize. Re 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 strategize. There you go. <laughs> Sometimes my tongue still goes like. <laughs> 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 maybe we should show them a benefit. Like how they can actually make money out of it. Because I think they would make a lot of money in between. The, the company to come in and yeah. build the hospital. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So maybe that's the approach instead of, hey, let's help out. Because a lot of these rich folks and these companies, they hate that word help out. If you're going to go to them, be like, you know what? 
you're missing an opportunity right here. Mm-hmm. This is the much money you're gonna make, and then their eyes just lit up like, okay, I'm listening. <laughs> right. What you got? <laughs> but if you, yeah, if you go you know, like help, well, we're here for you because we need help. It's like they're not hearing you. Like, huh? Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Freaking. So I think I don't know because. Well, and there's other. Um, <clears throat> There's other sort of legal ways to that, that we could implement, like mm. economic zones and mm. opportunity zones. Mm. Um, and then there's like public infrastructure districts and things like that. Mm. And so we just don't have that expertise in our communities. Oh, you're somebody. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where do they exist, right? Okay, yeah. I don't have the money for that. Oh, uh, well, and again, see, it all boils down to the, the stupid money. money. Right. Like, y- you need money to right. bring, to get you, and even the zoning, like, even thinking about the clinic in between. All right, so let's say somebody opened the clinic and they put it there. You're going to have to bring people. Who's going to want to work there? So you're going to have to give them some sort of an incentive, like pay more or wipe up their student loans or some mm. BS. To like, so it's always scratch my back, I scratch yours. That's, that sucks. Yeah. There is nothing genuine anymore in this world. This is depressing. Money, money, money. Money, money, money. <laughs> and you know what they say about money, too? Like I heard this guy said, no, 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 he said, uh, what did he say? He was like, yeah, a lot of people, they go and they try to make money or, uh, you know, I'm making money. He goes, nobody's making money. Mm -mm. Can't make money. Money is not something you make. You take money. (laughs) Everybody's taking money from somebody. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Like when you get paid, you're taking money from somebody. (laughs) It's just, it's gross. It's It's gross. gross. It's very (laughs) gross. All right, let's take a two minute break with some crazy music. Ah, say this is where we need our team, man. This is crazy, huh? So much to think about. And like she said, like this is America. This is America. <laughs> this is America. <laughs> you got me. This is America. <laughs> yeah, no, it's crazy. Like America is yeah, strong, powerful, rich, all that this stuff. It's too but dang the- big. The people are still suffering. You know, there's oh, the yeah, people there's in our lots country of people still that struggling. suffer. Yeah. You know? Children are hungry, you know, and people don't have drinking water. People yeah. don't have health care. You mm-hmm. know, it's like or, or or are we just Where do you guys start first? Well, again, in terms of our model is we go to the community, right? And, and ask them and ask them what they what, what do you need, mm-hmm. what do you want, what do you see, uh, what are the, the bigger issues? Um and again, by and large, it's infrastructure. Like I right. said, there's they want sidewalks, they want street lights, they want paved roads, they want sewers that work, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. They want potable water, right? Mm-hmm. They want um, what is it? Uh, parks, you know, for their kids. I'll, there's so okay, especially outside in the county, but also here in Las Cruces, there isn't a lot for young people to do. For, you know, no, for there's middle, nothing. Yeah, no. middle school to high school, there's nothing. No, there's nothing. Right, and no. and. Gosh, there's like the senior center and the senior services. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and I, I mean, probably someone's going to hate me a for C saying that. senior. <laughs> Everything has a senior in it. No, it is. Yeah, it's tough. It's, it's Right. And so they have, but why not have a youth then, a youth department with youth services and, and youth activities and, you know. Yeah, they don't. There's, there's one, now two skate parks in town, I think. Yeah, I heard. Something like that. I heard. But yeah. I think my daughter went to it the other day. She said it was empty. Yeah. So I, I don't know. There's bowling alley is gone. There's yeah. no. That's uh, sad. <laughs> there's, there's no, no miniature water golf. Park. But I don't think people wanted. There's no bowling park. alley anymore. Everybody's on their stupid phones, mm-hmm. man. Every, like this new generation, they found a venue like they got TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's somewhere for them to hang out just something silly. yeah the something. mall no one goes to the mall anymore right which mall exactly <laughs> that's not even that's, a mall that's a depressing <laughs> mall yeah, well, but most malls are like that now Sunland Park no no like big big cities we'll see, are still looking still good it's because everybody's shopping online everybody's like everything you, you know but I, I think people go to Wet n Wild in El Paso it's mm-hmm. because it's hot why don't we have one here Right. Nobody would go. Yeah, they would. Yeah, they would. If I had a couple million, I'd make a wet and yeah. wild here. Well, and that's that's what, a seasonal thing, man. Think about it. It is, there's but no then the other part. There's the no other, money in it. What about? Come on, <laughs> I'll be like, I'll be the guy like thinking about. What about there's no kids? money in it. <laughs> You're all hating on the money. I am like, <laughs> really? Gonna open that for money. three months? 
So yeah. No, it could be open for six months. I can yeah. see that. It, okay, it's we'll push it. Something it else. Stays hot you have something here. else to cover your the next. The half thing of the is, year. okay, the one we have where is it in El Paso, right? Yeah. I think the laws too, the city laws and the state laws plays a big role in it. Mm. Okay, it's easy to do things in Texas that you can do here. Uh, New Mexico is really tough when it comes to a lot of regulations. It's insane. Texas is easy. Like you can do things like they don't worry about a lot of things. So yeah, don't try to open a water park here. And I just want to <laughs> say something because you're talking about Las Cruces, right? right. And, and, and with the colonias is that the problem with the colonias is here you have your basic needs met. met. Mm. Right. In the colonias, you don't have the you basic. Have so it's like, where do you start from? Where you they? have to the basic needs because mm-hmm. right. a community is not going to thrive if they don't have those basic needs. So what are the basic you know, needs? It, it's it's water, um, uh, heat, shelter, shelter um, uh, food, food on your table, and then uh, you go services. then health and stuff like that. Mm. But but I think that that's why we do the work that we do because. This is like the basic needs, and it's like uh, the Greeks would say, you know, like if you want to commun- if you want to thrive and and think mm. about culture and poetry and stuff. Mm. You guys that are artists, you know, mm. you have your basic needs met. Sure, you, know? yeah. you have steady job, or I don't know, but you have money. You have, you know, and then from there you can you sure. can think. And so imagine that your your thought is, where is my next meal going to come from? Yeah. How am I going to pay? For the electricity, sure. how am I going to pay? So, th- so this is what we're talking about. This is um, how do we f- how do we help them? You know, how, how do we get to that level? How do we get to that? It takes, well, <laughs> you know, it, it 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 really like a lot of times I think about it, and again, I'm not trying to be the devil's advocate here. I came from a country from I came to the state from and I started from nothing. Yeah. And I was able to do okay with my life. Mm-hmm. So there are a lot of people born, lived here. Like sometimes I always think like, man, if I was born and grow up, I would probably do 10 times what I'm doing right now. So it's just, mm-hmm. where do we, why do we get there? It, it, I think it has to do with racism in the <laughs> sense like where you are. Uh, like you were, well, yes, you were able to overcome them, you know, but sometimes the system doesn't let you get get out of there you know the, the way the laws are they the stuff like down. that there's a lot of we we i mean you have to work in the basics but you also need to tell what daisy's saying that they, they have to have a voice they need to know that they there's they, they can they, they, they vote and change things you know and um and and that's a way to start you know and uh and 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 again yeah like i get all that but don't you think guys like sometimes Instead of, I hate pointing fingers and I hate the what they, 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 who. Why can't we all like take responsibility from your own self mm-hmm. and just say, you know what? Something is wrong. And I always have this issue with a lot of people who live in the state from other countries. You know, like what? Well, racism. They treat me different. Guess what, dude? Deal with it. Mm-hmm. Or leave. Mm-hmm. Period. If, if you're expecting the world to change for you. Don't be so obsessed with your feelings, man. Mm-hmm. Yes, it hurts sometimes. Yes, people might look at you funny, whatever. But what 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 you end up doing is you end up hurting yourself more than you're hurting anybody else, mm-hmm. because the rest is huge. The corporations are big. The government is huge, and you're just a little tiny things inside that system. So if you like, ah, oh, they treat me this way. Oh, they did. They're not helping me. They're not. Get up and figure it out. You know, yeah, but, and again, but, but, I don't know. But it's just how I look at it. Structure. That's what they're there to it, do. It, it, they're it, it's to like help the structure, empower. like right. like like uh, for for breastfeeding, which sure. is something that I know. Is like okay, they say you can have uh, maternity leave mm. or FML uh, family uh, maternity. It, but it, it's a uh, the an act that you can get. Um, uh, money, f- uh, vacation time, sure. paid vacation, p- paid vacation for f- maternity during maternity, your yeah. permanent leave. No? Um, but the thing is, is they, they, but the law says only businesses that have more than fifty employees. Mm-hmm. So it's what always does, about rules. See, por eso, yeah. No, yeah, pero por eso, what does that mean? Right. That means that where Anglo people are the, 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 those are the, like big companies they right. hire those type of people and then mine pa stores that are ma- that come that are from other 
uh, g- generally from other uh, races, mm. they, it doesn't apply, and it's something so so so. It, the way that the laws, the way that system is, it's geared that. Uh, go, that colonias can get out of, of colonias and, and 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 of course they want to do it. it's not like hi what can i do oh i feel so bad no it's it's a system it won't let you go mm. out you know mm-hmm. it, it, it won't uh, let you rise rise yeah. above, above, you know so and and this is something that is is very in in a lot of areas of of um not only health but of where you live even like diseases depending mm. on what zip code you live mm. it's, it determines how many lives how many years you're gonna live my that's god stupid. you know that's like oh my god that's you scary. live in the mm. united that's states sad. you know yeah. and um and it's a country of have and have not and it, it's you're gonna have health insurance you're gonna have food you're gonna have uh and the uh, gap is getting bigger yes mm. and, it, it, and, it, and it's it's crazy it, mm-hmm. it's it's really crazy yeah so if I could say something. Sure. <laughs> Go for I know it. what Rosalba said about us helping. And, uh, oh, we're not supposed to use that word? We're not supposed no, to use that we word. Don't, we don't help. We, <laughs> we empower. empower. Oh, I get Your you. job empower. is to empower. We support. Right. We, yeah. We but honestly, yeah, what? Okay, 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 hold on. Well, yeah, but like I, I will you explain. just said, Hafi. What is wrong with helping? I will explain. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. <laughs> but that's not their approach. I'm being the devil tactic. today. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. I will explain. So, but that's, so that's what happens with when corporations come in, right? And okay. they say, well, we're going to help the disenfranchised, the marginalized, and we're going to provide this thing. Hmm. And then if you take, if they take away that thing, what's going to happen to that community? What's going to happen to that population? Go right back. Right. Yeah. Because they didn't do it themselves, right? Mm-hmm. right? Because right. they didn't learn. They didn't, yeah. they didn't, you know, create it with their own hands, with sure. their own will. So what we're trying to do when you're talking about how do you reach those people is we do go in and empower and support and we say no you have it in yourself right this is just your like community what you just there said you go, yes, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. this there is you your go. street control, this is yeah. your backyard this is your park you have a right yeah. to be part of the decision oh, no. making process mm-hmm. come to the meetings come to mm-hmm. to learn about how to give public testimony mm-hmm. let's create that plan let's go to the county and you tell them this is my street i live here mm. i deserve for it to be paved so mm. i don't have to worry when it rains right. that i can't right. drive my car out mm. You know, out and go to work or take my kid to I need school. a boat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And, yeah, and these are like kids. basic freaking needs. Right, you my know? kids are going like, to watch And don't you months. think this is, these are the things the city should provide? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Totally. And that's, and that's city, exactly county, it. Right. And that's, and that's why we want to create teams. We go into those communities. We say, this is yours and you have a right to it and you deserve it. And you should come, right? And you should participate. Why? Because it's yours. Mm. And the city should provide it, and the county should provide it, and they're not doing it. Right. And what they're doing is wrong. Mm-hmm. So let's get together. Let's use our collective power. Let's use our people power to demand these changes. It's so ass it's backwards. Doing. When you think about it, it's so ass backwards. It is. Yeah. I it's, mean, the counties and the cities should be taking care of all their people. Who controls so all the their city? People, yeah, but so all their people can participate in life mm-hmm. properly. And buy and give and take and do and build and create, right. which yeah, but like the like whole she said earlier, and everybody rises. But like you said, they're like taking tax dollars and putting it over here. Well, this is where the most tax dollars come from, so we're going to benefit them with a park in their neighborhood mm-hmm. and not those guys over there because they don't pay enough taxes or whatever. Right? It's bullshit. Sorry. No, I know it is. It's and again, the city. It's like you know, like she said earlier, with the corruption that happened in El Paso, or whatever. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, and so the other approach too that we're taking with these communities is we know, right, that there's all these needs. We know mm. that they need a hospital. Mm. They need all these, other, you know, all these other infrastructure projects. But is there something that we can do together to build um, that they can do themselves, mm. right? Mm. So. It is your street, so that means it's also your trash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so mm-hmm. let's clean up your, your neighborhood, right. Mm-hmm. right? Those are your, like, there's, I just got an email about stray cats and stray dogs, and there's all over the county, there's stray cats and stray dogs. Okay, that's somebody's dog, mm-hmm. right? right? There's somebody's cats who are procreating. Mm-hmm. So let's Spay take... and neuter. Right? Mm-hmm. Let's take it's responsibility. all about education. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's take responsibility for our own neighborhoods in that, that sense, right? right? Let's take care of our kids. Let's... Let's come together and have potlucks and, you know, sure. get to know each other and build community. Yeah, which is, that's what we were talking about the other day. Like, and you were like, 
people don't want to do that anymore. Yeah, no, there's a lack of it's changed like in the 70s. Yeah, people don't. People knew everybody. People knew their neighbors, you know. Doors are unlocked. We're changing. Like we're evolving. We're turning yeah, into this weird animal. We're all paranoid. <laughs> we all live in our, our little shell we call the home, and we have this to communicate with the outside world, and that's it. I don't have to show up anymore. No, you don't. You yeah. Know, I can just text what I want and this yep. and that, you know, if I'm fortunate enough to have broadband, you know, mm-hmm. but it's like, what do these kids do in these neighborhoods? That you guys work in drugs, gangs. Is, yeah. There you go. Jeez, so it's like yeah, that's it. Dog chasing <laughs> his tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Wow. yeah. It, it's hard. Yeah. yeah, just it's totally that happens always in the small. Like when I was working in Deming a while back, and man, the weirdest things I used to see there is just weird. Like another planet, totally another. Oh planet. yeah, it's like you know when I lived in LA, one of my first projects I did when I was there was a project in the. Um, gang areas Mm -hmm. of LA that were totally Mm -hmm. just scary as Mm -hmm. all could be and all these kids did were gangbang you know and so we actually went in there and did inner city gardens and stuff like that and Mm -hmm. get them out of that but you know they were influenced by everything that was around them anything they couldn't get their hands on they wanted but they had to take it or steal it or get into a gang to get it you know so it's just this big it's it's crazy, and you know what? Sometimes when we're talking about stuff like this, and they always wonder, are we just old? <laughs> like the new generation, they're just into their own thing. Like, is this how our parents used to say? Like, oh, look at Mark and look at how he, they're doing this weird shit. Like, I don't. They're like living in another planet, and for them, we're so like out of it not in touch with reality I don't, know. I don't know is that what it is it's just like things are just moving forward in time no i think you're always gonna have i don't know those who do <laughs> and those who do something else you know but it's just i i think today's kids are pretty well educated yeah. they are um, well th- 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 there's like uh there's kids don't use uh they're killing like the the napkin companies because they say you really don't need it just be clean be, be right. don't be as messy or when you straws. Yeah. straws because of the environment i think that they're very uh they're conscious. more in t- conscious um it, it, and they're very smart. That no, no, they are. They are and, smart. And, and the, the, the information is at the tip of their the fingers. You know? Yes. And and, yes. and they just look things up and they can do it. You know. Yeah. So, so I think that again, um, that there is hope mm-hmm. <laughs> that they'll change the stuff that was kind of. I honestly up. believe that because I see in this new generation, yeah, as much as there's a lot of bad, them, just like everything else. Um, mm-hmm. And and then again, I know you said something earlier about the U.S. Like, we're not hundred percent perfect. But I think the margin is a little bit less than other countries, considering the the, the the population. If you break it down to have the numbers be statistically correct, n- 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 I no, think no. Wait, no? The United All States. Right. Let's see. I hear this. <laughs> there's a 35 more. Uh, the the uh, First Nations or the first um, first generation. First, no, 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 no. Uh, the the uh, first world nations. There are 35. Uh, OEC, uh, the countries that are more, that have more money, right? right? Okay. And they have every year, uh, fifth graders, they m- measure math, arithmetic, arithmetic, and, oh my God, there's that, that another thing that they measure. The United Stem States out. is Stem. always, not, or number 33, or number 34, That's or number what? 35. On what, on, on math, arithmetic, and reading. On what? Like grades? In the grades. Yeah. Okay, do you yeah. really trust our grade system? <laughs> well, well, it's not the grade system. No, it's no, just, it's how I, they, I'm just going based on the stats yeah, here. Like, if we're going to go to numbers. Sí. No, pero, but it's pero, like no, a worldwide pero, aptitude test sí. that, that measures all the different countries. And not, I, I think know. the education system in the U.S. is messed up. It's I mean, that, it, it is. All and right, I'll, I'll give you. With other countries. And, but again, the 33, and, and that's why I'm a little bit skeptical about it, just because when you say 33, and I give a perfect example of my daughter. There are certain things that she just hates. And she'll get a D. She'll get an F. She can care less. <laughs> but then I'm like, Charlie, you're not dumb. You're smart. You can get this. Let's get it handled. Guess what? Bam. A. So they know how to do it. They're smart. They just refuse 
to do certain things because of our education system. And that's why I find those numbers skewed a little bit. That's just me again. I could be wrong. I don't know. Because if you're telling me the U.S., we're behind on other countries. Why do people come here to study? Mm. Higher education. I mean, you know, which is all private. Dollars. Why you hear all which these people? They that's, money. Very, that's that's very important. The, you know what I mean? They do higher education. The people that have right. yeah. the rest of the country, yeah. they couldn't care less. Right. Really? It, yeah. So I think then, so the so the numbers come out not of the few that are like uh, th that are in getting like four O's, four point O grades sure. and stuff like that, or are very smart. They do as, as a country. Right. The, the measurement is of the country. Mm -hmm. So, so the thing is, there's there's excellent education. I'm not going to say that, but the thing is, as a whole, the education it's not it's it, 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 I mean, there's always room for improvement. It's not equal. And when no, they, there is when, a when lot of room compared to other yes. countries. This is where you get the numbers. And and the reason I said that just you know I travel and I meet people, I see what they're. Believe me, it's not as bad as we might think. Yeah, the, 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 there are some systems. I honestly think it's just the way the education system is is wrong. It's it's old, if I can put it that way. It's old. It, it, it helped the most rich people in the U.S. None of them have education, statistically. Not even a college degree. The top one percenters, they don't even have that. So the school was never the way to make money. It used to. It used to when people would be like, you need to go to school, you need to go to college, you need to get a degree because that's what we were taught. That's what we were learned. Your parents need to go to college to get an education so you can get a decent job. It was always that. Now we're still implementing that on our kids, but it's not working. Mm -hmm. It's not working. Most people who graduate, they go and make fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 if they're lucky to start with internship and all this and that. And then you got a guy going, going to be like, that on TikTok and making millions. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a weird thing. But, like, but, but the, the thing is, it's the quality of it's life. It's sad. No, no, it's no, sad. What, what do you consider <sighs> making a lot of money? Is that, what is that? You no, know, no, like, what some people, but no, I get it. Like some, a lot of people are driven oh differently. I'm not driven by money. Okay, some people are driven by money. That's 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 all they think. That's what they dream of. That's what they think of. It's weird. It's really really weird. And I ask a lot of rich people, like, when you were, my, and I'm talking about like when I was in my twenties, early twenties, mid thirties. Hey, like, wh what was your passion when you were young? Money. That is exactly the answer I got. Yeah. Money. I'm like, I get that, but what do you want to do to make that money? It Whatever. don't matter. I just want to make money. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane it's really scary you know for me i was like oh i want to be an actor i want to be a musician i want to do this and do that and then the money if it comes Bad it comes choice. if it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> but the people who are after money there's a guy i was watching the other day he uh he blew up on tiktok and he had like five million people whatever and he start making money the guy's worth like three or four hundred million dollars right now <laughs> Jesus. okay the guy never <laughs> went to <laughs> that's, 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 no no i don't let, let me just finish this i just want to finish this point he never went guess what he did he's like oh i, th I figured out a, i figured out a way how to manipulate tiktok and then down he goes i never even posted on myself so he hired a company that started doing their thing reading the matrix how it works bum 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 Bam, make money. So, and what's scary about it is a lot of people in the U.S. starting to think like that. We're losing that. Hey, I just want to be a teacher. But I just want to help people. Yes, and we're about, losing them. That's that's that, that, okay. Money, but the, is that gonna make you happy? Is that gonna well? Maybe. But the thing <laughs> is that, but, but you, you, it, it's um, having a name, uh, doing what you like, being free. Um, these are things that that um, having a roof over you, having food, you know, mm. and um, and I think that it's it's so sad. It is sad. You're saying that that, sad. that 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 money makes you important, or you have more worth no, no, because you of, have money. No, yes. everybody. It's society. The, it's it's we live in a society that's so messed up, and the, the rules of the game are just. Like I said earlier, it's either you figure out a way how to jump in and play the game or you get out. And if you get out, you're going to be so hurt because 
you're gonna be the alien you're not part of it 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 really sucks it totally sucks like why do people buy products that are brand names a purse to go and spend twenty thousand dollars on the purse you're just trying to tell people hey treat me with respect because i got money and that's all it is a lot of people they will respect you when they they know you have money it sucks it's the harsh reality but when you walk into any place and the minute they know you got money they treat you well of course and i grew up on this shit in morocco like you go to a hotel and you try to walk into this nice places i'm i was a broke ass kid like i didn't have any money and then you walk in and they just like scan you from the bottom up and if what do you want get out and go next day and dress up put some brand nikes and bs come sit at the bar it sucks it really sucks and everybody wants your money it's always about money because we oh. could fix a lot of this problem maybe, we can put a hospital of- we can do everything it's all money 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 <laughs> <laughs> maybe our show can help people just be a little more humane and and kind to each other and if they've got lots of money help those who they, need they won't help they will those. help them to cut Why their not? taxes you've got so, so they much can money. pay less taxes yeah but you know i'm what? just sorry i'm being the harsh guy if you today. Go, <laughs> just like I that's know, how it is but if you go and donate some of that multi-million dollars you've made in the last two years on tiktok and help someone out guess what that's a tax write-off for you nobody you know? thinks that they way. don't care about that stuff because they're so into their own crap excuse I, us i just think people don't think that way mm. i honestly don't well let's change their minds how everybody has to help each other how rule number one tell me how can we change neighbor, people's mind right do whatever you can to make someone else smile or be happy or help them that's one way of i course. don't know that, that is one way it's wishful but thinking but it is and i just hate to have, I like to be practical and and see what would work and again i don't mean to be the, the devil here yeah, you do <laughs> no nah, it's fun it's fun for the conversation because it brings up other stuff it's cool wow. but um um, I, I don't think, know. How long have we the, been going? <laughs> I mean, I think people can invest. So that's the other thing you're talking right. about. Like, what is the incentive, right? Sure, so there instead you go. of donation, there like you bring your money to Southern New Mexico and you're going to invest there you right. go. your money in a hospital and that's going to make you money, mm-hmm. right? And you're going <laughs> to, like Amazon and Facebook and Google and Apple, all those large corporations are here in New Mexico, mm-hmm. right? And they're making money, right? but they're just not advertising it. Like, oh, yeah, we're here. We're making money <laughs> off of New Mexico, but they are. Like, what right. about Virgin Galactic? They're set to make all kinds of money. Mm-hmm. Well, well, we'll see, right? <laughs> we paid our tax dollars <laughs> so they could build the spaceport <laughs> right? because they were supposed to be making all this money. So at a minimum, what I would, uh, in terms of investment, is tell come, yes, come and invest in a community. Yeah, drop like a million dollars so we could start building that hospital we can build community gardens we can build parks we can pave the you know and then we can bring business right right and there's lots of little you know um community members that have their their little um, you know their stores their their little money makers and if we could incubate that and then maybe something else just another like there has to be some other way like to well i heard people i heard some some companies they were trying to come over to new mexico in particular to las cruces to create businesses but the city and the people who run the city said no because the taxes are gonna go on. <laughs> was it what kind of business were they I trying to bring i don't know can't, i can't go into deep and, stuff and, no, the, and, the, and the other <laughs> thing people fired <laughs> Well, I know there's certain nef- like what they would call nefarious businesses that mm. they don't want to bring. So I, I mean, I don't you know, know. Really, it could be just a hearsay type of deal. No, I don't no, know. absolutely. Like, there's no strip clubs, sure. right? In- oh, then I they started one, and it was like they built a frame, and it sat there for three, <laughs> five, ten years. It's yeah. still there, right? <laughs> I don't know. Never started it never <laughs> because the people, right? The local people didn't want it. Oh, yeah. You know, which is also interesting with the cannabis. Sure. You know, there's lots and lots of businesses now, right? Have started with um, selling cannabis, and we're getting lots of business coming in from El Paso. So that's a, another way to make money. But if I went into the little community of Del Cero, which right doesn't actually exist, but if we said, hey, to inject funding into your projects, let's start. A cannabis business? No way. Like they're super Catholic, you know. They're not gonna. They're not gonna go for it. Rosalba probably wouldn't. (laughs) Wouldn't agree either. But that should make some money for the state, no? 
Yeah. It, 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 well, it oh, should yeah. have. It's yeah. making huge it, it, tax yeah. dollars. You should have seen huge. the first day. I heard uh, we, were, we were there uh, in Sunland Park. It was crazy. And we were across the street. We were we were doing surveys for the, the COVID. Uh-huh. And then I said, I'm going to go over there. Because there was a line, and I didn't know what it was. Right. <laughs> so I go over there, you know, and, well, well hey, you know, we're, uh, if, if we're giving out stuff. And if you, uh, um, and then I said, what are you guys doing here? Mm-hmm. And, oh, we're in the line for the marijuana you know it really was insane because it's like exactly what he said when i was going to work and it was a, a huge line and it's almost like he unveiled like it revealed all the potheads in town mm, i didn't sure. know we had so <laughs> many, so many people <laughs> so and then i started oh, thinking like hours, well think about it oh. all these people used to go look for a drug lord all these people used to go and yeah, I mean, a lot of it is mm-hmm. medicinal, but there it's, are recreational, and it's like, uh, yeah. wow, yeah. Well, like Whatever a lot of it's boat. out of, out of uh, you know, outside the state, right? Right. right. So, oh, also, they come out of the state, right? Okay. So, well, that's what I'm saying. People from El Paso, that Sunland Park is a prime location. So oh, like, it's right there now, right? yeah. <laughs> the and capital, go, all right? Yeah. Business, yeah. let's go. <laughs> As well as Anthony, New Mexico, because there's an Anthony, Texas, sure, right, right. right next door. Sure. That's so, confusing. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so in, in Sunland Park, because part of the, again, we do a lot of work in Sunland Park, and so they're trying to relax the rules. Actually, yeah. tonight was one of, was a city meeting where they're trying to relax the rules so that they could, um, their cannabis businesses could be open 24 hours a day. Uh, they could be closer than 300 feet to a daycare or school, uh, that they could have drive through windows. Uh, and then they could bring in um, oh, like portables or modules or whatever. Instead, like, of, oh. instead of set up in a, in a you know, in actual built infrastructure or a building, wow. that they could just bring in like a portable and just set up That's while crazy. they build a building and start selling their products. Oh, wow. Yeah. So And that makes money. Yeah. That makes that, money. That, that is making money. money. That's like mm, big Texas money. Is. And if you even look at the sales throughout the state, all of the cities in New Mexico that kind of have a, a, a border with either Texas or Arizona, mm. right, that have another city on the other side, they've made tons of money sure. from people coming in from outside the state to, to buy cannabis. Wow. So, But yeah. is any of that money going to stay for the... And, and, and exactly. That so where does crazy. that money go? No, but that to me is crazy because they're, and that's one thing, the, huh. the cannabis, no? But one of the other things that they're trying to do is that they're going to make like a, a whole infrastructure around, uh, 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 um, how do you say, uh, around, the? Uh, around the, the like uh, uh, another casino or, uh. or, or, or stores and stuff like that around the cannabis. You know, so to me is how how can you develop? Oh, it's gonna be so prosperous, so oh we're gonna bring, bring tourists and stuff like that. But you have streets that are not paid. Right, mm-hmm. they so don't like, care um, about that. That's how, There's how, no how money can, in that. How can this? Ha- <laughs> how can that have a president over the, the the basic needs that we were talking about? Yeah, yeah. they don't care about basic needs. There's no money in that. No, Think exactly. about it, really, like what you just said. They're trying to build businesses around the cannabis. So how can we make more money? Well, they're, they're talking about that they're going to make like a river, a river walk, right? That's yeah, what and they, say. they have plans for an entertainment district. Oh, yeah, uh, it's, it's around. Central Park? Yes. Yeah. So it's wow. like kind of mimic like uh, San Antonio, like river walk, yeah, shops and stuff. That's going to smell like skunk all over. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Yes. Uh, <laughs> And, and that's another problem. There's there's where the city hall is, mm. and then there's a uh, there's a, there's an agency that's called Help and M, mm. which it's like a daycare, and we're working with them. Mm. And right some feet from there, they have the tre- the water treatment 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 oh, plant. Uh-huh, the water treatment plant. Yeah. Oh my God! It's it's like smells for kids, terrible. You know, it's like. Well, maybe that's that. what maybe that's and why they so, want to so put the cannabis in there. So to me, it's like, how are you going to have this, this entertainment system <laughs> that stinks. literally stinks? So can't know? they move the water treatment yeah. plant? Yeah. Or no, they no, won't. They would cost too much, money. too much money. Cost too much too money. Much. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you get it on the program. <laughs> that's really crappy too much. planning. <laughs> too much money, but <laughs> cost money. Is it going to make us money? Moving it from there? Right. Dude, my yeah, boss, a, a long walk. time ago, about 15, 20 years ago, I told my boss, hey, you know what? You should extend this part. We'll have more space. We can create more stuff. Is it going to make more money than it's making me right now? And I don't know. Well, then why would I do it? 
You're a mean one. Yep. But, Mr. Grinch. Yeah, so, but you know what? Let's keep hope. Uh, people keep who ever listen to work. me don't get offended by awesome. me. We learned a lot tonight. Yeah. Hopefully just, people that listen will learn a lot tonight. Yes, please. And Help please. out, get involved. Yes. Start so from yourself. the world for the better. Yeah, and don't listen to my craziness. That's just me being well, yeah, a devil. No, but that's Arr. good. That's good. It forces, but, yeah. it forces the discussion. I love it. You know. Mark? Where are we at? Ladies? Wow. That was like a lot of information. That was. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Awesome. Nice. I applaud I love you it. at what you do. Can we yeah. plug? Can I just plug? Yeah, please. Plug whatever you guys want to we'll plug, go graphics. for it. We'll get everything. We plug and then the your camera up. is right there. If you oh, want to okay. stare at it yes. and tell what you need to say, go for it. I just want everyone can come visit our website. Um, and our domain is EmpowerNM. And that's the same um, handle for Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. And if you want to learn more about and um, understand the story about the water pump, we actually did do like a short documentary cool. called Somos en Apra, and you can find it on YouTube. Um, so yeah, Empower awesome. NM. There you go, guys. And and please like this video so that we can get invited again and talk about sure. other oh, yes. cool yeah, topics. For sure. <laughs> for sure, this is fun. I love it. Yeah, no, this is good stuff. I good information. It. Good humanitarian yeah, help. Yeah. So why All not right. uh, help each other and raise everybody up? Mark, I forgot to hit record. Oh, no. Don't. I'm just kidding. Don't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Jump over across the table. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank humanity. Thank you so much for being here. You Ladies, guys are thank you. That was it fun. Was awesome. Thank you. Mark. Good episode. I liked I it. I love it. Yeah. There you go. More music. All right. Chill out. Coming out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.